and looks just the kind of material in fact for European cruiserweight title fight in the not too distant future but first of all he's got to put paid to the ambitions of Darren Griffiths here well off balance there back cheek Much better now for Griffiths. Moving off to the side, but well, having said that, Bachi knows how to close the gap. He closed the gap, he did land a good shot. Griffiths now just teasing out the odd uh, wide jab there picking up the odd point back to missing with those three punches Very close round this one. Batch has not had the success he would have liked. But then again, Griffiths has just managed to keep himself out of trouble. Staying mobile, popping up the right jab. Nothing really from the left hand side from Darren this one, but uh, that's not a problem. Oh, solid punch. Again from Chiran Bagchi. And again. Well, interesting round that one. Griffiths looked like he might just have nicked it, but uh, at the end, Bagchi came back very well and, uh, and probably stole it instead. Well, just checking the scorecard, I've got Bagchi four points in front with only three rounds to go. So it looks very slim for Griffiths now. And once again, Bagchi landing the punches when it matters. But uh, Darren very determined individual. We want to try and turn this one over in the next three rounds. Into round six. And this MGC promotion from the Palantir Sport Marcel Sedan and Lavalwa kicking off very nicely. Antoine Montero, of course, the former European Bantamweight champion behind the promotional group, and he sat just over the other side of the ring from me, little fella, big heart. And there really is a, a team atmosphere when these Laval Wild fighters get in the ring. Um, everyone seems to get behind them. It doesn't matter who they are. If they're boxing under the Lavalois colours, that's it. That's enough. And of course, uh, Darren fairly friendless. And once again, 
again, a determined comeback this fight with this good right hook there, catching Badgy on the chin. Nothing Darren's done so far seems to hurt this man. And that left eye of Griffith's getting slightly worse. Oh, dumb shot has gone from Bagchi. And that's a little punch there from Griffiths, and uh, Bagchi not really in a position to receive it. And now pop the gum shield. Not, not the result of great power, but uh, probably just good timing. And it gets, it's gone again. Well, that time, it's gone again. It's gone again. Uh, well, this time, in fact, it's, uh, it's Darren's. It's interesting. I thought it looked slightly different. It jumps in, of course, a vital piece of a boxer's equipment. Prevents cut, bad cuts to the lips and uh, dislodged teeth. Well, Badger now finishing this round very well. Again, it's been a round in which Darren has had his moments. There's no doubt about that. In fact, Badger's winning close rounds, but the difference is he is winning them. Once again, Griffiths stands and toughs it out. And I'll tell you something, Griffiths is going to leave this ring a hero, I think, to this, these French fans. They know they're boxing in this area. Right up with cut from the Welshman. Well, that's a punching round once again, and a great effort from Griffiths. And he finishes with a nosebleed as well. Um, but I'll tell you something, Yutzi, he is. He may not be winning, but what a good effort. Well, 60-55 now in favour of bad cheers once again. We watch a few more punches here from this uh, French-based Turk getting through to Griffiths' face. Well, this man looks like he's uh, pretty comfortably in front. As, uh, we've got two rounds to go. Once again, some nice work there from Bagchi. And, uh, well, Johnny Griffin there applying the end swell to that uh, swelling left 